everybody, I'm Lisa behind the camera is Bill and together we are the Lisa. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are here at Disneyland and there are a lot of really cool tips and a lot of secrets that you may not know about Main Street USA. First of all, Main Street USA is actually a land here at Disneyland and a lot of people don't know that. On opening day here at Disneyland there were five lands. One of them was Main Street USA, there was Adventureland, Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Tomorrowland. Walt grew up in a town called Marceline, Missouri, and that is what inspired Main Street USA. Additionally, he had an Imagineer working with him named Harper Goff, who grew up in Fort Collins, Colorado. When he showed Walt pictures of Fort Collins, Colorado, Walt thought it was wonderful and he incorporated some of the looks from that town into Main Street USA as well. Let's get started. Right when you enter the gates of Disneyland, you are already in what is part of the land called Main Street USA. You can see behind me flowers shaped in Mickey Mouse's head. Those flowers, where they sit right there, that is the most photographed place in the entire world. They do change those flowers throughout the year. They change them approximately seven to eight times for different holidays and different seasons so that you have a different look throughout the year. As you walk in and up Main Street USA, you'll see red brick laid down for you to walk on. That was Walt's design. He wanted it to look like you were walking into a movie set on a red carpet because he wanted everyone to feel special as soon as they entered Disneyland. Behind me is the Opera House, and this is the oldest standing building in Disneyland. It was here on opening day in 1955, and from 1955 to 1961, it was a lumber mill. It's under construction right now, and what's in there, of course, right now is great moments with Mr. Lincoln, and it is still open during construction. Right off of Main Street USA is the Disneyland Railroad. Although there are other stops along the way throughout the park, Main Street USA is the primary entrance to the Disneyland Railroad. The Disneyland Railroad is 1.2 miles long and approximately 6.6 .6 million people ride this train every year. This is one of the number one attractions here at Disneyland. And if you get on right here at Main Street USA, you can take a complete trip around Disneyland. The area that you see behind me on Main Street USA is called Town Square. You can also see the main flagpole right behind me. They have a flag retreat here every day at 4.30 p.m. that you can come and be a part of. Additionally, this flag is the only real actual American flag in all of Disneyland. You'll find numerous flags along Main Street USA, but all of them have a slight alteration. They're either missing a star or a stripe. That is because that keeps Disneyland from having to lower the flags during any type of tragedy and bringing them down every day. So the only flag that is retreated every day is the main flagpole that sits right here in Town Square. Right behind me on Main Street USA, right here in Town Square, you're going to find City Hall. City Hall is where you can go for any type of button for any kind of celebration. Your birthday, an anniversary, or even if you're just celebrating being here at Disneyland. Additionally, as you shop throughout the park, you can purchase items and ask them to hold them for you so that you don't have to carry them all day. If you do that, City Hall is where you're going to come at the end of the day to pick up your packages. Also, if you're in the park during the day and you have questions, or if you come across a cast member who is exceptionally nice and helpful to you, you can come right here to City Hall and you can give them a shout out so that they're sure to get some good props and love from the workers here at Disneyland. I'm just taking a stroll, darling. You think you own the place or something? Well, I mean, I do. Well, if I owned the place, do you think it would look like this? No. I no, think we, it would be black and we, white and a little bit of it, it would be, we paint the whole place white with black spots. I can see We it. call it Corella Land. Oh, I, like I know, don't you love it? Let's get started. I'll help we you. We should. We start a petition. Okay. All right. I'll start passing around. A 
strongly worded letter. I'm going to that'll, that'll be Okay. I'm standing just outside the fire station on Main Street, USA, and right behind me, you can see some bamboo. What is so great about Disneyland is they maximize every square inch of this place. The Jungle Cruise, which you don't even enter anywhere close to here, is only 35 feet away from where I'm standing right now. Even though you have to walk all the way down Main Street and into Adventureland and even continue walking for a little while before you get to the entrance, it's just right behind me, but they're so great at concealing that and maximizing all of the space here at Disneyland. As you head down Main Street USA, off to the right-hand side, you're going to see an Indian. This Indian represented on opening day in 1955 where you could purchase tobacco products. Back in 1955, tobacco was very, very glamorous, and it was very, very wonderful for everyone to have a place to purchase it here in Disneyland. Actually, tobacco was available until 1991 for purchase in the shop right behind the Indian, which right now is the 20th Century Music Company. This Indian also has a twin in Frontierland right outside the Westward Ho Trading Company. If you head inside the Market House for a Starbucks, make sure you check out the old phones that are still in there on the walls. If you pick up the receiver and listen, you can still hear conversations. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Gladys is such a gossip. She's just spreading rumors all over. It's very surprising. About halfway down Main Street USA, you will find Center Street where you can head back to the lockers. If you do head back here, make sure to check out Hotel Marceline, which is based off of a hotel that was in Walt's hometown. But additionally, make sure you look up at all of the windows along here. You're going to see names of Imagineers and people who helped build and construct Disneyland back in 1955. If you listen closely, you can even hear some of them talking, you can hear snoring. But the other thing that's really cool is the title or the name of the shop is actually very closely related to a hobby or an interest of the Imagineer or the person that helped build Disneyland whose name is on that window. streets of Main Street USA are actual real gas lamps that are over 150 years old. They lined the streets originally in St. Louis and Walt Disney purchased them for three cents a pound. Along Main Street USA you're also going to find hitching posts where you can hook up your horse if you bring him here to Disneyland. All of them have a horse head just like this one except one. Right outside the china closet there's actually just a piece of wood as a hitch post. Let's go check it out. We're right outside the china closet and here is the plain hitching post, the only one that exists here in Disneyland and it's right here on Main Street USA. As you continue down Main Street off to the left hand side you're going to see the Coca-Cola Refreshment Center. Because Coca-Cola is red and white, Walt actually really wanted all of the lights around this area to be red, white, red, white. As they started spacing them out, however, they realized that they had an odd number of light bulbs that were going to fit up there. So of course, they couldn't have two red right next to each other or two white right next to each other. So they ended up painting one light bulb, half white and half red, so that everything would match perfectly. Of course, one of the other amazing things about Main Street USA is there are all of the Main Street vehicles, including the horse-drawn carriage and the Dapper Dance. If you notice on the Dapper Dance, their name tags say they are from Main Street USA. All cast members within Disneyland, usually their name tags say the town they are actually from. But the Dapper Dance must be from Main Street USA. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Just heading home to Main Street USA. Just heading home. No. Oh my God, you're my favorite. Oh my gosh. I grew up with you. You're so handsome.
Once you make it about three-fourths of the way down Main Street, USA, if you turn at the Photo Supply Company, make a right-hand turn, you're going to get back here to the Baby Care Center. Let's head inside, though. I want to show you something on the wall. Right here on the wall, when you come into the Baby Care Center, you're going to see a picture of a baby, and this is actually a picture of Walt Disney himself when he was a baby. This is a place that you can come and you can have a quiet place to either feed or change a child, and it's really nice that they actually have this here for parents. Right behind me, you'll find the Main Street Hub. This is actually the central location for the entrance to all of the lands that existed on opening day. Main Street USA, Adventureland, Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Tomorrowland. We have shared with you some of our favorite secrets and little hidden treasures along the road of Main Street USA, but there are so many more to be discovered. So make sure the next time you head down Main Street USA, you look at all of the little details and all of the little crevices of information to be found. And make sure you also watch for any of the streetcars that are coming along the way so that you don't get run over. Again, I'm Lisa, behind the camera is Bill, and together we are Belisa. I certainly hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!